Newly released FBI form alleges the Bidens coerced the Burisma CEO to pay them millions. Let's play the clip. Moments ago, Fox News Digital obtaining the FBI's 1023 form that alleges the Bidens coerced a Burisma CEO to pay them millions of dollars to help get Ukraine, a Ukrainian prosecutor fired. The form was released by Senator Chuck Grassley today. This comes after two IRS whistleblowers came forward with allegations that federal officials interfered with the Hunter Biden investigation. Let's bring in Kim Strassel. She is a Wall Street Journal columnist. So here it is. I mean, this is the, the big prize, right? This is the form FD 1023 that everybody has been talking about so much. Chuck Grassley's office released it just a little while ago. I guess he said, look, this thing's not classified. I'm going to put it out there. Here's what it says in part, according to a confidential human source. Quote, they, and this is Burisma, hired Hunter Biden to, quote, protect us through his dad from all kinds of problems. Moving down a little bit, it costs $5 million to pay one Biden and $5 million to another Biden. So not only is everything that we already knew about this situation true, because Biden admitted it years ago, everyone's saying it's a joke, but it doesn't seem that way, does it? The FBI has documentation on this, and the Bidens, man, they're making bank off of this. $5 million a piece, and that's probably just the starting. It seems like they just were you know, on payroll. Confidential human source mentions Zlochevsky. This is Mikola Zlochevsky, who was the founder of Burisma, might have difficulty explaining suspicious wire transfers that may evidence any illicit payments to the Bidens. Zlochevsky responded he did not send any funds directly to, quote, the big guy. Notice how it says directly to the big guy. I mean, we already know about their whole banking scheme where they would send it to one bank from a company and then they'd pay Hunter Biden's company and then Hunter Biden would pay himself. Yeah, so yeah, directly, but he doesn't say he didn't pay him at all, does he? You've read through this. What do you think? Well, we knew some of this, uh, mm -hmm. even though we hadn't seen the 1023. You know, we knew there was an allegation of bribery. We knew that it was supposedly $10 million. Uh, we knew that supposedly also this source had recordings of Joe and Hunter Biden talking to him about this scheme. Now we know it's Zlochevsky of Burisma. Now we know that the bribery scheme was allegedly uh, in order to Joe Biden to get this prosecutor, Shokin, fired. And of course, Shokin was investigating Burisma at the time. But a couple of other things we found out in here, too, just fascinating. Uh, Zlochevsky claims that he was coerced mm -hmm. to give these payments, uh, meaning that it wasn't he really that approached them and said, hey, can you give me some help? He's making it sound like it's a shakedown, as if, I don't know, uh, they would have encouraged more investigation if he didn't give this money. I mean, we don't know if any of this is true. Uh, we've had other confidential human sources, you know, most infamously as part of the Russia collusion hoax I mean I guess that's true but the Russian collusion hoax we didn't have Trump joking about uh Russia working with Russians years before he even became president that's kind of what's different about this one you know Biden's on stage saying he did all this and then he says after the fact oh it was a joke when it was like this closed meeting, it doesn't even make any sense that it'd be a joke. So this one has a lot more, you know, let's call it evidence than the uh, Russian collusion hoax. Um, but this is very detailed, and I think it is incumbent on the FBI to at least explain what steps were taken to either verify or debunk it. Yeah, in, in, in this FD 1023, Zlodchevsky is saying, why do I need to keep Biden on board? And at one point... It says that um, although Hunter Biden was, quote, stupid and Zlochevsky's dog was smarter, Zlochevsky needed to keep Hunter Biden on board so everything will be OK. It, it, so it sounds like he wasn't hiring Hunter Biden for his expertise. It was purely access to his father. Wow, it just sounds like that Vachesky just hates Hunter Biden. He says his dog is smarter. Man. He's just going in on Hunter. But, I mean, it makes sense. He is like a drug addict and stuff, and I, who knows who he is in person. I don't think he's really ever done any interviews, none that I've ever seen, to, you know, show if he's intelligent or not. Um, but, yeah, like this, uh, uh, like this guy in the video was saying, definitely hiring him for access. It's not for expertise. He thinks he's an idiot. 
So, yeah, definitely not. He doesn't even want him on the payroll. He just needs him there to make sure that the prosecutor is fired. It makes it clear. And what is also notable about this 1023 is that we discovered this wasn't one conversation. There apparently appears to be many meetings between this confidential human source and Zolchevsky, and that this was talked about in nearly every one with the same thing or intimation being made each time. I was coerced. Mm -hmm. Hunter Biden is there to help us. Uh, I had to do this. I'm not happy about it, etc. Yeah, again, it just seems like this guy really does not like Hunter Biden. He hates that he was coerced. It sounds like from the language that Zolchevsky is saying, he really didn't even want to even have the prosecutor fired, potentially. Like this woman saying from the clip, um, they might have just said that they were going to push even further into the investigation and really get this guy, get Volchowski. So he's like, oh, OK, we'll, we'll just do it. But I'm not happy about it. Very interesting. Right. We want to mention that you've got a brand new book out. No. Uh, here it is. Thank the you. Biden malaise in which you basically say that the Biden administration is Jimmy Carter 2.0. Only Carter did it much better yes. than Biden did. <laughs> yep. I mean, on its face, there are all these similarities, and the book goes through those. But it's actually making the case that that's an unfair comparison to Jimmy Carter. Right. Um, and that has to get into uh, what Jimmy Carter inherited. He had a much tougher hand than Joe Biden did, but also intent. Jimmy Carter, the rap on him that he was a good guy, wanted to make things better, was in over his head, somewhat incompetent. It, this makes the case that Joe Biden knew exactly what he was doing and that most of the policies that have been put in effect that have gotten us inflation, high energy prices, were done because he wants to transform the country into something else. I mean, possibly, and it makes sense. Joe Biden is definitely a cra like pretty crazy person. He's obviously corrupt, but he's also been shown to uh, be co uh, incompetent. Uh, what did Obama said? Never underestimate Joe, Joe Biden's ability to F things up. That's a quote from <laughs> Barack Obama. So he might just be that incompetent. I mean, he's really old. The people on the left nowadays, they're all crazy and they're incompetent. So that's who he's hiring, right? And he's, he has said that he's hiring based on gender and race, not by merit. So I don't know. I mean, I would agree with her that Jimmy Carter definitely seems like he was a pretty good guy, you know, at heart. Biden, no, he's not a good guy. It, so I think it's a mix. I think it's it's incompetence mixed with um, I think it's incompetence mixed with malice personally. But you know, that's just my opinion. What is your opinion of the story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.